Tuesday morning at Lewis and Clark College in southwest Portland. Students moved between classes just hours after a fellow student was killed on campus and two others injured. Some strange things happen, but ugh, brutal. Count neighbor Randy Tesser among those who are heartbroken and baffled by what happened late Monday night. We're told a brick column standing about nine feet tall collapsed, injuring two 18-year-old women and killing a 19-year-old man. All of this unfolding on the first day of classes for undergrads, as Terry Foster of Portland Fire and Rescue touched on Monday night. This is tragic, um, but these kids are starting to adjust to college life, some of them for the first time, and it can be very challenging for them when they have this trauma. Foster says the brick column may have collapsed due to what was attached to it, three hammocks holding six people. First thing I thought of was how awful it would be for the parents. I mean, God. And you think, I don't know, how, how, can, how can that possibly happen? It's a question so many are asking themselves after an absolutely tragic start to the academic year. It's shocking, honestly, to think that there's something like that happened that close to our house. And they, they do. All right, back out here live. Nobody from the administration wanted to go on camera today, but just within the last couple of minutes, we did release. Uh, uh, they did release some additional information, and I want to pass that along right now. They tell us that those three hammocks we mentioned uh, were attached to some freestanding columns that are part of the historic Grape Arbor in the Lower Estate Garden on the undergraduate campus. And of course, one of those columns did collapse, killing the one student, injuring the two others. Uh, the college president, Robin Holmes Sullivan, saying that she is devastated by the loss of life and devastated by the injuries to the two other students. And she tells us that uh, school officials are working with students and staff to get through this.